when we're talking about data centers, we're talking about part of the issue. When, we're talking, when we talk about desktops, we're talking about another huge issue that frankly nobody in the industry is out there talking about right now. We're addressing this issue, desktop to data center. From a data center perspective, there are about, the numbers that's being tossed around through recent studies is that there's about $40 billion um, associated with energy costs related to servers in the United States. And it happens to be that those those servers and data centers is a very acute part of the business. I mean, the pain is very acute. Um, on the desktop side, it's a lot more dispersed. And so it's the, the issue isn't as, as top of mind. But if we say that there are 400 million desktop PCs worldwide, those PCs are going to consume about 180 billion kilowatt hours of energy a year. And if that, well, the number of companies who are using power management settings or tools to manage those desktops so they go to sleep at night is statistically insignificant. But if 30%, if we were able to bring down the energy consumed by the system by about 30%, you're talking about savings of about 56 billion kilowatt hours a year. That's enough energy to power Switzerland for a year. So we're talking about $40 billion on the one hand on servers. There's another at least 56 billion kilowatt hours that we can address relatively easily as you we know, say conservatively it's about 10 cents a kilowatt hour that's about 56 billion dollars um, so on the desktop side so there's a lot of energy to be saved a lot of money to be saved but but certainly a lot of a lot of power as we're talking about you know the amount of energy that's produced and the greenhouse gases associated with that that um, there's a lot I mean like, like I said then people using power management settings are kind of statistically insignificant. So, you know, we want to educate folks on the fact that it's not hard to do. We've got systems that you could buy today. Our Optiplex systems um, are offered with energy smart settings in the factory, and that's with power management settings, preset is on. And you have to actually take, you know, do the work as the end user to turn them off. So it's the software piece that's really going to make the difference. Um, for energy around, around the world. And there's, you're going to see a lot more focus on from um, not necessarily from system vendors, but from people who put things in the system who say power supplies ought to be uh, more efficient. Right. And a more efficient power supply is going to save you a few dollars a year in terms of energy costs, and it's going to save you a few watts in terms of energy use, uh, but it's going to cost more because the, you know, the more you the more you go in efficiency, the more expensive it gets, and pretty soon you hit a lot of diminishing returns pretty quick, actually. Um, we believe that the real savings is going to come from uh, power management settings. So when, when those folks come out and make their, their big announcement about how they're driving for more energy efficient power supplies, just know that that's, that's part of the story. Um, where the savings are really going to come is when that system that was running for eight hours a day is being turned off for the other 16 hours a day. That's really where you're going to see some, some energy benefits. Uh, about 40% of the energy consumed was in IT equipment. Another 30% was power distribution. And another 30% was in uh, uh, cooling. So of that 40%, we said, okay, well, how does that break out? Um, about 60% was servers. And about 20%. 22% to be exact was storage, and the other 18% was networking gear. So that's your Cisco's and, and other, other devices. Of that 60%, by the way, this data center is not too atypical from any other customer data center that we might run across. Of that 60%, we said, okay, but, you know, store, we're keeping our eye on storage because data is growing 100% year over year. Disk capacity is growing about 60 to 70 percent year over year, so we're keeping our eye on this. Don't want to drop the ball. We're keeping our eye on it, but we don't have a whole lot to. I mean, we're doing a lot with storage consolidation, helping customers consolidate. But really, this is the. I mean, this is the the big area where we need to make an impact. So we looked at all the different components that go in that system, and there's a lot of discussion about power about uh, processors. You probably had been approached a million times about processor vendors talking about low level processors. And, Doing everything we can, and quad core is great, and all that, you, know, you, you know the song and dance. Well, that's about 30% of the power consumed by that server. Power supply is about 20%. There's a whole lot of other small things that go into that system too, between hard drives, 
between system memory, fans, um, voltage regulator modules. I mean, there's a whole lot of other different components that go along that system. We said, well, because uh, in these systems, by the way, these systems are on 24-7. These are servers, right? So they're, they, you don't know, generally turn them, turn them off mm -hmm. and power them down. So what can we go do to affect that issue right now? Well, let's, get, let's go with some level of processors. Let's go with some more energy uh, friendly hard drives. So go from a three and a half, half drive to a two and a half inch drive. Let's find the most energy efficient memory that we can. Let's go with more energy efficient power supplies. And really looked at all the different components of that system. And because you know Dell, and you know how well we, we manage our supply chain and can optimize for it. We said, we're going to cordon off those parts. So when you order an energy smart, what we'll call an energy smart configuration, you know you're going to get, from a power standpoint, the best that's out there on the market. And we're going to push our vendors to continue to supply parts that get to be the best and improve on what they've got. But the system that we were able to offer now has got the best of all these different components and it offers 25% less power at a comparable performance. The price on that system is about $100 more because these parts tend to cost a little bit more. So the price on that system is $100 more, but you're going to save $200 in energy costs over the course of a year. So it pays for, the difference pays for itself in six months. You're going to keep that server for three to four years. So the, uh, I mean, it, you, know, you just kind of have an aggregating effect in terms of the amount of energy you can save. So we talk a lot about the server. You can imagine a rack full of these, or a row of rack, or a data center full. Then you're talking about some significant energy savings. On the desktop side, um, we believe that the majority of power savings are going to come from people putting their systems to sleep, right? So after its eight-hour workday, putting in, in systems that enable it to, to shut down or go into sleep mode or hibernate mode. Uh, we're not at the point yet where we're seeing a lot of strong customer interest for this kind of, this kind of effort, right? And customers aren't willing to pay a whole lot more for uh, desktops that have this, this capability. That means we're not looking at it and we're gonna continue to lead here. And certainly if the market says, your customers say, go, go do this, We'll go do that. Most customers are saying, and the customers that we've talked to personally, that I've talked to personally, are saying, you know what, it's not an issue. Somebody else pays the power bill. It's easier for me to keep them on 24 hours a day than, than uh, to encourage my users to turn them on. But, uh, so we're, we're not there yet on the, on the desktop space.